Ah, there we go. That's all done. Oh, dear. I'm going to go outside for a bit and talk to everyone. We've got the vlog going now, all right? Okay. See you shortly. All right, then. Right, hello then guys. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's well. I had to get out of there. I gotta admit, Mr. Tumble is doing my head in. I had to get the dishes done and get out of here because I don't know. I find him very irritating personally. But here we are. Another day. Quite a cloudy day actually by the looks of things. It's a bit of a shame. It was gonna be nice. So um, haven't heard anything back from Ryan yet, but he's got my number now. I gave it to him after he was doing the mowing, and well, I've got to admit, it was quite a fun day yesterday looking at that, watching that. Sorry, but um, obviously, seeing the mowing getting done, it's made me get want to get my garden a bit better here because it is so overgrown. It's unbelievable. It's getting a bit long now. So, we need a good old grass cut in here, really. Um, as you can probably see, Noah did end up staying again. Um, I think he's going back today, though. He did say he's only going to be staying one more night. But, um, I don't actually have a mower or a strimmer, in fact. So, it's not going to be easy to cut this grass unless I use a pair of scissors, but I'll be here for ages. So... I'm going to see if Noah can take me off to go and get a mower, really. Um, I think there might be a place local. I'm hoping so. I might have to go and have a little look on the computer to try and see if there's anywhere. But if there is, I'm going to go and get that today. Because I want to get on top of this grass. Because then if we get this cut, I could probably think about getting some flower beds in here or something like that. So... Start making the house a little bit better. Um, but I think that is the plan for today. So I'm going to go and see if Noah can actually give us a lift. Um, yeah, let's go and see if he can. Um, Noah? Yes? Um, could we go and get a mower today and possibly a strimmer? What? This morning? Yeah, go there before you leave. Okay. I do. Um, I need to find somewhere to obviously get it, but if you could drop me there, then that would be ideal. Bring it back, because obviously we've got no car, have we? No, that's true. Yeah, we're still on the lookout for one of them. No problem. Okay, yeah, ideal. Right, I'll go have a look on the computer then. See if I can find somewhere. Okay, let me know. Ideal, thank you for that. Right, go and have a little look on the computer. Let's see if I can find somewhere that sells mowers. Right, well, okay then. So, I managed to find somewhere that has some lawn mowers for sale. It's a JBM um, Agricultural Limited. So, not actually that far away from us, which is ideal really. I'm just waiting on Noah, but he seems to be a bit engrossing Mr. Tumble at the minute. I don't know why. But, yeah, he doesn't seem to be able to stop watching it. But hopefully it won't be too long and then we can head down there and go and see what they have available um, and hopefully they have something that I'm after so I'll catch up with you guys when we're there I guess whenever Noah decides he actually wants to make a move I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later on
Right, so here we are guys, we're at RBM Agricultural. Um, quite a nice little farm shop really. I suppose they got everything we need. I can see mowers through the window. It's always a good thing. Exactly what I'm after. But I see they've got a few tractors here. Nice mower. Nice mowers. <laughs> nice tractors, isn't they, Noah? They are. Yeah, they are. Well, I'll have a little look at them, I think. So what we've got here. So we've got the John Deere 6230R. Wow, I feel really short next to this. This is huge. What a tractor. Oh, this is lovely. What a beast. Um, what else we got here then? We've got the 6110M. It's like a little utility tractor, isn't it? Um, oh, right, yeah, it's a job front. So these ones are usually for um, front loaders, isn't they? I'm not 100% sure. But lovely bit of kit. All brand new. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got a little UTV here. What is it? The XUV, XUV 865M. Lovely. They are cool little things. I do like them. They're really nice. But I'm not here for tractors or utility vehicles. So we are here for the mowers. Um, well, I'll get one of these trolleys over here and we'll get I'll have a little look around. You coming in, Noah, or are you going to be staying out here, mate? I will wait out here. Staying out here? Yeah, no problem. I won't be long. Be as quick as I can. Okay. All right, then. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, leave that there for now. Let's have a little look at these mowers. So, what have we got here then? We've got some ride-ons and some push mowers. Um, the ride-on mowers? I mean, God, that red one, that is gorgeous. I really like that. The X mower, 700T. That was four-wheel drive. That is pretty cool. I like that. Um, also, we've got the John Deere 330. It's a bit of an older-looking mower, that, actually. Hi. Morning. Um, so yeah, quite a nice little thing, but obviously they're a little bit too big for what I need. My garden isn't that big, so um, what else we got here then? We've got a couple of push mowers here. Um, not sure on the branding of these ones though. Um, and then you've got the Honda. See the Honda, that is a nice mower, but is it too big? I'm trying to remember exactly how big my garden is because those smaller ones might be better for it actually but I do like the Honda so what is the markup on these then that's 319.99 oh god that's quite expensive that is that is incredibly expensive but what are they compared to what are these ones at then so this one here, he's at 189.99. Okay, so quite a bit cheaper. And then this one is 169.99. Okay. So do I go for something cheaper or do I just go with the Honda? Because Honda are very good mowers. Their engines are brilliant. So. Do I just bite the bullet and go for something like this? I mean, it's commercial. Saying that the grass actually is quite long, isn't it, at home? So maybe the commercial one will be better at getting through that. Yep, I'm going to go for that. Um, That's not going to fit on my trolley though, is it? No. Um, Do they have boxes of these anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I'll ask matey at the counter. Yeah, let's go and ask him quickly. See what he says. Hello, mate, you're right. How are you? 
Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Um, if your mowers over there, do they... Do you have boxes of them? Because obviously I'm guessing they're all just display, display ones, aren't they? Yes, we keep the boxes in the warehouse out back. You got them in a warehouse at the back? Okay, so we just come up and pay for them? Yes, and then we will bring them round. And then someone will bring them round. Okay. Ideal, thank you. No problem. Cheers for that. All right, okay, so ideal. So we're going to get that, obviously. I'm going to go for the Honda, I think. Um, what else we got around here then? So... There's a leaf blower there. Electric one as well. Sixty nine ninety nine. Might have to go for that. Thing is, it's always good to have a leaf blower. Autumn's here, so the leaves will be falling soon. So, it'd be good to keep the place in order, my house and that. So, I might go for one of the, as of them as well. And then we've got strimmers here, aren't we? Yeah, yep, strimmers here. So, what are these then? Doesn't really give the brand of them. So. Okay. But they're 139.99. That's not bad. I'm going to just buy the bullet and buy them all. If I've got it all. Um, it's going to be useful for using at home. So we want the mower. The strimmer. And the leaf blower. Um, I'm going to have a little look around the shop. And see if I can find anything else that I'm going to need. Okay, so I have found some wellies. I think wellies would be a good idea. Especially if we're going to start doing some work with Ryan. You know, some wellies to use around the farm. I don't think that's a bad idea. These are Dunlop ones as well. $14.99. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for them. Not a bad price. So we'll grab these here and then stick them onto our trolley Right, so just looking at these fuel cans here. These are at twenty-three ninety-nine because obviously you're going to need one, so I can get petrol into the machines. Um, so a decent size actually, twenty liter I think these are. So we'll grab one of these and get that onto the trolley as well. Right, there we go. Right, what else can we find? Uh, I'm trying to work this out now. So, going to need some oil. Some two-stroke oil. So, what we've got? Oil here. And we've got some mixing bottles here as well, I see. So, yep. Yeah, we'll get some of these as well. Right, there's the oil. All right, just got a mixing bottle to grab now. I think it's got all the levels on it that I need. Yep, perfect. All right, let's get that on the trolley as well. Right, I think that is everything that I'm going to need. Um, I can't think of anything. So we've got fuel, we've got oil. Got a mixing bowl. Got some wellies just in case Ryan ever gets in touch with me. We just need to ask Matey about the mower, leaf blower, and the strimmer. So let's get all this over to the Matey and get this paid for. Yeah, how's it going, mate? Everything? Yeah, it's just all that stuff on the trolley and also um I would like to get the Honda mower, um, the electric 
leaf blower and a strimmer she got for sale? Certainly. Do you have them? Well, do they come in pieces or? In boxes in the warehouse. They come in boxes. Okay, you got boxes of them in the warehouse. Yes. Ideal. Cool. Yep, that'll be everything then, please, buddy. Just get this all scanned. Yep, just get it all scanned. Okay, no problem. Cash or card? That'd be card, please. That's five hundred and seventy-nine pounds and eighty-nine pence in total. Okay, thank you very much. I do Cheers. Right, we'll get this all into the car, and then mate, he's going to bring um the rest of it round in a minute, so that'll be ideal. Want cheap though? God, that was expensive. Right then, Noah. Everything needs to go on the back seats. Boot is full. It's going to have to go in the side. Oh, is it? Okay. No problem. All right, then. Yep, we'll get this loaded up. Mate, he's going to bring around the rest of the stuff in a minute. Super. Cool. Right, so. Go for you in the car now. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be enough space. It all depends on the size of the boxes, but hopefully he's going to be over here soon with them. I wish you had some space in your boot, Noah. My apologies. What you got in there, anyway? Just bits and pieces. Fair enough. Right. Hopefully they'll be here soon. I can hear them. I don't even know where the warehouse is, actually. I don't know if it's the back of this building or not. Ah, here he is. Oh, there's some big boxes. Oh, no. Right, we'll get these loaded up then. And I guess I'll see you guys when I'm back at home. So then, guys, we are now back home. Um, as you can see, it was quite a tight fit getting all that in there. Had to get one of the boxes up on the back there. I think that's a strimmer box. Um, Noah, though, he's gone back in. I think he's going to get his stuff because he's going to be shooting off shortly. Because um, time's ticking by now. And he's got a long drive ahead of him. Um, so I really need to get on and get all this stuff out of here. So that he can get back home. So we'll get this unloaded. And then we'll try and do some unboxing of the stuff we've got in here. And then... Hopefully, get some grass cutting done today. So, I'll catch you guys shortly. Right, so, there's that all done. All out of the car now, so Noah's free to get back home now when he wants to. Um, So, we're starting to run out of room a little bit in here. But I suppose we should get the strimmer out. And then we can start streaming, I guess. Oh, my phone's going off. Hello. Um, hello? It's Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Are you able to come over and give me a hand? Yeah, I could get over to your place. I have had a family emergency come up and need your help. Okay. I will be with you as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Alright, cheers. I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, okay. Um, never mind all that then. Ryan needs me to go to his place. I'm surprised about that. That's kind of ruined my plans for today, but he said it's an emergency, so I suppose we better get going, actually. So, um, I'm going to get my backpack. Because then I can actually get my wellies, take my wellies with me, just in case I need them. So, right, I'll meet you guys over at Ryan's.
Right, here we are. Right, let's go and try and find Ryan. Um, and see what he wants us to do. Um, I'm guessing he's going to be down in the farm, actually. That wasn't there yesterday, was it? Nice Ford pickup. Very nice. Anyway, right, let's go and try and find him, because I think he's got to get off, so... Oh, hello. Oh, that's a nice John Deere. Hello, Ryan. Hi there. Hi. Thank you for getting here. Yeah, no problem. You wasn't busy, was you? No, I wasn't that busy, to be honest. Just got back from shopping, so you all right? Ah, good. What does he want me to do for you? Could you turn the grass in the field I was in yesterday? I'm making hay. Yeah, turn the grass over. Be careful with this tractor, it's new. Okay. Have you turned grass before? Yeah, I've had a bit of practice. I don't think I've used anything quite like this, though. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. I would guide you, but in a rush. No, that's fair enough. Just go steady. Okay. Right, I really need to get going. Yep, no problem. Alright then, I'll let you get on. Alright then. Thanks again. Right, so. Um, when Ryan said he wasn't in a rush, well, no, he was in a rush, sorry. He did mean it. He literally went straight to the car and he's gone. Don't know what is going on with him. Something with the family, I think. He said family emergency, so it must be something serious. Um, must be for him to trust me in his brand new tractor. Just been looking over it. Um, so, yeah, 23. Pretty much brand new. So, okay, we've got to be careful with this. So, we've got the 6R155. Nice little tractor, actually. This is gorgeous. I don't think he's done many hours on this at all. So, what, what TED are we using? So, we've got the... Bent Lotus 1250T. Now that looks like a big bit of kit. It's a 1250. Um, does that mean 12 and a half meters? I'm pretty sure that is. But let's get her fired up. I'm assuming I'm assuming he's left the keys in it. Um. Oh yeah, there's the old tractor from yesterday that he was using. But yeah, let's have a look and see if he's left the keys in here. Right, so. Has he got the keys in here then? Um, yeah, they are in here, yeah. Ideal. Right, let's pull that down. Right, let's start her up. Oh, this is nice. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a lot more modern than what I'm used to. We never had any of this stuff when I was doing farming when I was younger. But, what a beautiful machine this is. So, I guess I need to find out if everything's all running. Let's hop back out. Right. There we are. Right, let's have a little look at this. We can start this from out here. So, let's get this fired up from here. If it wants to start up. There we go. Okay, now that's all seems to be starting. I don't know if I should have been doing that because that's a bit dangerous there now. I'm not going to risk that. I might end up catching my head. Right, we'll get back in then and I think we'll turn it off on the inside. Right, here we are. Right. There we go, we can turn it off there. Perfect. So everything seems to be running. Um, so, I suppose... We get to the field and then we can have a little play around 
and have a little play, you know, get things started in here. Got this lovely bit of kit though. Right, so. Um, we need to get it in drive, don't we? There we go, we're in drive. Got a bit of torque on that. Or beacon, so that'd be a good idea. I think that's them on. Yep, definitely on. Okay, ideal. Oh, I'm so nervous about driving this, though. I will be honest. Not going to be fun. Well, it's going to be fun, but nerve-wracking at the same time. Alright. I think we're good. Oh, what a lovely machine. So comfortable. This really is. Sounds beautiful, don't she? Right, it was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in here. Gonna get her dirty now. Go on, we're spinning. Try and get the four wheel drive on. Right, there we go. That should do it. Oh no, well, I'm actually stuck in here now. Um, got diff locked on here, haven't we? Nope, we are stuck. Oh, this isn't good. Right, now we've got four wheel drive. Turn the four wheel drive off, I did. Um. Okay. Oh, there we go. We've got something. Oh. He needs to get out here and get some... Fill this... Sort this mud out here. Oh, we're completely sideways. He said to look after this thing, didn't he? Hopefully he doesn't watch back on this video and see what I've... Thought through and putting it through. Right. Right, okay, we're through. Oh, that's not a very nice track, that. Right. Oh, so I've seen he's done this side now, because when I left him yesterday, he had finished this side here, so... Yeah, he's definitely made some progress here, then. Right, so... I don't really know... If there's anything that we need to do at the back to unfold this thing, or whether it's just all done on hydraulics. Actually, I'm just going to quickly Google that. So I'll be back with you shortly. Right. So, I managed to get it unfolded. Um, it does just work on hydraulics. So, but I thought I'd better check over the machine, because obviously, um, didn't want, wanted to make sure I didn't make any damage to the tractor while getting in here. So, I'm just going to make sure this is all still in running order. Is he starting up? Okay, doesn't seem to be working out on the button here. Still connected in it. None of it's none of it's come loose. No. Nope. Okay, well I'll try it on the inside, see if we get it to work that way. Right, let's have a little look. Oh, ideal. It's all working. Don't know why it's not working from the outside, but at least he's working in here. Right, I don't think any damage has been done to it then. 
so I think we're going to be good to go. Right. Lovely. So I suppose we're ready to go actually, aren't we? So, get the wheel down. Shut that door. go right let's start a back up there we go right um I did have a look quick look online and I think about five mile miles per hour that should be good enough you know good enough speed so we'll try it Let's get the um, cruise control set for that then. Right, I think we're there. Let's, let's get going. Have I took the handbrake off? There we go. Right, now let's lower it down. Right, there we go. Oh, a bit too far over that way. Let's get over here a bit. How are we sitting now then? That's looking good. Looks like we're doing a good job. Working perfectly. We are turning grass. So if I aim for the middle of these two swaths here, that should give me a good guide actually. Seems to be working lovely. I've kept the four wheel drive on. Just in case it gets some slip on the wheels. I think, yeah, I have turned the diffs off as well, so. But she seems to be gripping pretty good, which is ideal. But, to be honest, with this header, shouldn't take too long. Especially at 12 and a half metres. I'm pretty sure that's what the 12.50 means. Look at that, though. Oh, this is awesome. Glad to be back farming again. I haven't done it for years. Right. Are we going to be able to turn around here properly? Also, I don't really want to miss anything because this is the trial, isn't it? So, I'm guessing this is the trial, unless he's just called me to come and give him a hand. I think we've got it all there. Well, we've got a little bit in the corner there, but we can get that a little bit later on. Thing is, it's such a big machine at the back. And just look at the size of it. It's unbelievable. But doing a lovely job. Yeah, this thing going to take long at all. But I don't want to put the cruise control on just yet. Wait until we got all these turns out of the way. But it should be a lot quicker than what it took, you know. Than what Ryan spent the other day here. Or yesterday, sorry. God, this is awesome. Always a nightmare trying to get into those very, you know, into the corners. Just got to keep an eye out on slip. Oh, I see that. Um, there's some slip there. I see. And damage to the field. That's a problem, really. I mean, well, we haven't really had any rain, so I don't really get why there seems to. Boy, he's had a lot of slip there, look. 
don't really get why I'm getting a lot of destruction to the field. But this field must carry water, I'm guessing. Or hold water. Not slipping, are we? Don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Nope, seems to be fine. Seems to be missing a few bits. Don't get why that is. Or is that where I've been getting the wheel spin? Not 100% sure. Yeah, this ain't gonna take long at all. So I'm guessing it needs to get this done because obviously the weather's good. It needs to get this dry in. I don't know when there's any rain in the forecast. Obviously I haven't been looking, I haven't needed to. I just take each day as it comes. Right, so I suppose we'll crack on and get this field knocked out. So I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later on. Hello again then guys, so this side of the field is all done, what a job that was, but didn't take too long with this to be honest with you, but just got the other side up there to do, 
Um, just having a quick five minutes, you know, a little break before I continue on with that. Haven't heard from Ryan yet either, so don't know what's happening there with him. But I'm just going to have a little bite to eat. But I think I'm going to leave the video here today because i got a feeling this vlog is going to be quite a long one as we've been shopping today and doing this. So I'm guessing that today's vlog is going to be quite long when I come to edit it. But I just want to say thank you everyone for watching. Um, it does mean a lot. Um, if you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a like. And if you want to subscribe to see more vlogs from me, then please do. But yet again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Goodbye.